Chris, Chris B Movies. You know my name is Chris. You know I love B Movies, but I also, as you well know, love Eli Roth films. From 2002, we're talking about the original badassery known as Cabin Fever. Oh, yeah. Oh, Paul and his friends, they're college kids. They just want to go out in the woods and have a good time. Go on a little camping expedition. But where they're going, <laughs> well, let's just say it's a road that goes to nowhere. <laughs> we get Paul, we get Karen. Paul's kind of hot on Karen. Oh, yeah. And Marcy and Jeff are kind of an item. And Bert is this, he's kind of like the silly guy that... They're friends with, but do they really like him? <laughs> they just kind of keep him around for laughs. <laughs> Plus, he's mo the most handy guy in the bunch, so... He can fix cars and stuff. Yeah, let's, uh, let's keep him around. <laughs> oh, yeah. See, this bottle of water I trust. I trust when I drink this water. I'm not going to get a flesh-eating virus. But, oh, yeah. The major killer in this film is the water supply. <laughs> Can you trust the water from your faucet? <laughs> they stop off at a convenience store and they meet this uh, heavy set kind of old man. <laughs> and he's the sweetest old man in the world, but he's got this like serial killer looking redneck working for him who does not have a sense of humor. <laughs> he actually catches Bert stealing a chocolate bar and he tells him to give it back. <laughs> when he does, like, are on, get on now. And he has his son who's basically comatose. But we know, when watching this kid, this film, that this kid is a flesh eater. <laughs> kind of like a flesh eating virus that's deteriorating all these kids. Whether you swim in the water, whether you drink the water, it is going to plague you. If someone spits at you, spits blood at you that's infected, you will be infected as well. So there are many ways you can be infected. One of the group does not get infected, but he meets the same thing that Dwayne Jones met in Night of the Living Dead. This is a great homage to Night of the Living Dead. When I saw this in the theaters, I totally popped it. And everyone's just kind of looking at me like, sorry. <laughs> it also pays homage to the last house on the left. You know, the road leads to nowhere while they're driving. <laughs> it has a lot of great side characters. I love Deputy Winston. He's one of my favorite side characters in any film. He's a deputy that's not too much about his job, but more about partying. <laughs> he is the party cop, baby. <laughs> and he calls Paul, party man, what's up, party man? This guy just cares about party. Like, he had a call to uh, bust a bunch of underage drinkers, and he just joins the party. <laughs> to where Paul, Ryder Strong's character, comes out and kind of ruins the party. And you'll see when watching this one. I don't want to give too much away because there's a first time for everything. There's a first time you eat an ice cream cone, the first time you have a slice of pizza, and there's a first time you watch Cabin Fever, and you don't need Chris spoiling for you. On a 10 out of 10, 10 being the best cheese you'll ever see, and this is a cheesy ass film, one being the worst cheese you'll ever see, I give this a 10. I love the cheesiness of this film. It has some random humor, completely 100% random humor, especially with that comatose kid yelling, pancakes, doing all these karate moves, and then biting Bert <laughs> in the arm. And Bert plays it off so well, James DeBello, who you can see in Detroit Rock City. <laughs> He's like, no pancakes, no pancakes. Oh my god, I dropped in the floor, dying laughing when I saw this in the theaters. <laughs> Great film, random humor, a lot of bloods and, blood, guts, and gore for all you gore hounds out there. Something to please everyone. An homage to great classic films like Texas Chainsaw Massacre, Last House on the Left, and of course, Night of the Living Dead. Eli Roth loves movies. We love movies, and he likes to incorporate a lot of the classic films into his films, as he does in The Great Cabin Fever. So watch it now. You can watch it on Hulu. You can buy it on Blu-ray or DVD, however you want to watch it. Just watch it. You'll have a great time. Have some polas with your friends and watch this movie. I guarantee you're going to have fun watching it. Uh, a lot of good cast in this one. Ride is strong for Boy Meets World. I mean, come on. Joey Kern, you've seen him in the remake of Friday the 13th. And like I say, James DeBello and Giuseppe Angels from Detroit Rock City. Another great film. Definitely check out Cabin Fever, baby. It's one of the best, baby. And definitely one of the best that Eli Roth has ever put out. I totally, 100% agree with that statement that I just said. Check out all the other reviewers. They all do a bang-up job. They got fun stuff to bring to the table, so check them out. Please like if you like this video. If you've never seen Cabin Fever, let me know. And if you have seen Cabin Fever, let me know what you think of Cabin Fever. 
your true honest opinions. Please subscribe to Body Bags and of course Crispy Movies. I got my own personal channel as well with a lot of original material put in there. Oh yeah. You like Blu-rays? I got Blu-rays. 4Ks, I show them all off what I have bought recently. So yeah, definitely check all that out. But <laughs> don't forget to watch those late night horror movies. Read up on your latest fight bags. Don't forget to tune into another episode of a show you call Body Bags. I'll give you a taste.